Surprise persists a day after Lin Shijia learned by text message that she would lose TSU party membership and her at-large legislative seat. Party headquarters blamed the row with its former caucus whip on her handling of a revoked amendment that had decentralized, decriminalized, that is, personal use of public funds by elected officials. Lin Shijia's falling out with the TSU is largely based on her support in late May of an amendment to the Accounting Act. Lin, who was caucus whip at the time, signed off on revisions that would free a former Pan Blue lawmaker jailed for corruption. TSU leadership accused Lin of arbitrary actions that violated party policy and procedure and were contrary to the party's core values and ideals. In a Central Executive Committee meeting on Monday, it decided to revoke her party membership. Constantly acted in opposition to party decisions and did not take advantage of opportunities to reflect on her actions. The party felt this disrupted internal operations. I received the text message at the same time as everyone else. I just now saw the text party headquarters sent. I'm still unsure of the situation, but no matter what happens, I want to express deep appreciation to the TSU for giving me this opportunity. I also want to thank everyone for their support. Lane has seven days to file an appeal, but success is unlikely. TSU leadership says its decision is firm, and Lynn's tough attitude has rubbed many people inside and outside the party the wrong way. Lane's seat will be vacated and could be filled by former Kaohsiung City Councilor Ye Jingling.